money, 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 money. We got to the yard before the other truck did, so we're just waiting for escapes. Do 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 do. So how's the morning been? Good. Got stung? No. Not gonna talk today. You're just like you're five years old. <laughs> are you hiding? <laughs> ah, there they are. Setting boards again today. Capitalizing on our canola. Just hold it there, this top box is kind of screwed you. They've matured just perfectly to catch this blooming canola. We we'll probably have another week, maybe a week and a half in here. And we had to reseed this end of the field because of bugs, which matched up brilliantly for my honey production. So this is about up to my chest here. all around so this gives us our main flow and hopefully after this finishes matures finishes its bloom looks like we have some time left on here it's not blasting the top off yet so we have some time which is promising uh, hopefully the clovers the sunflowers the clovers the alfalfas that's all around in the ditches and the field edges hopefully that holds us through the rest of the crop but for now, we just enjoy this brilliant crop of canola. 
and just watch the money flow in. This top box is capped by the looks of it all the way down. So that is, so let's say they're 70 pounds, you know, there's 250, 275 pounds per stack here across the course. This one's not quite capped. The rest of the aperies are all in four supers now, which looks like they could take fifths, but they're gonna be flipped over I'll get the rest of the apiary uh, flipped over today, tomorrow. We should be able to get through all the rest of them, all the main yards, and then we have another five yards that are a little bit smaller, and then we're into the nukes. So these guys are full, but we'll have them with fresh boxes by the end of tomorrow. And then uh, starting beginning of next week, these will all be stripped off, and we'll give them more space to catch that last bit of flow. So things are adding up just perfectly. I have things dialed in this year. It's like tuning a radio. Uh, the way I think of it is tuning in a radio. You know, I can dial it in just so it gives that perfect sound. But uh, everything else, like the static and the music they play in the radio and all that's out of my control. What I can do is dial dial it in, and I feel like I've got this apiary dialed right into this flow. So because of that, we're able to capitalize on everything that's out there. And just work as hard as we can to be able to catch it all. We just set this yard, we're just in time for lunch, we're about to head back. And here is one of our silage fields, corn silage, growing like banana trees. They are almost lorry, double lorry's height. And they're just thinking about tasseling right now. So they should stretch another couple feet anyways. So we have an amazing corn crop coming. Look at these leaves, just like banana trees. Just about got the top. <laughs> that is something else. some honeycomb later. Oh my God. Here, have some of this. That's three days worth. Maybe some bees in these boxes. Looks like there's bees. Hi bees. Hi bees. Hi bees. Are you getting stung? Of course not. That's what I do, man. Oh, the honey. You can have some of that. Make too much of a mess. Thank you, bees. Thank you, bees. You're very kind. Can we keep this one? Uh, no, we'll find some honeycomb for you. Okay. We'll get a sheet eventually. See all the bees in the window? <laughs> There's like a million of honey. Oh. sweep the window yet today. Okay, run about. Why do they, why do they like the oh, so much? They're flying to the light. Oh, bye. That was very cool. <laughs>